Hello, in this video, we're going to solve an equation. Square root 2 over 2 to the power of negative a is equal to a. So what is a? So first of all, uh, let's think about the range of a in this equation. So we know that square root 2 over 2 to the power of negative a is always positive. So a is positive. Then we go back to the equation. So right here, the power is negative a. So we can make this as a fraction, and the power will be a in the denominator. So it is 1 over square root 2 over 2 to the power of a is equal to a. Then we make an arrangement. We have 1 over a. So we move a to the denominator, and we move this term to the right side, and we have 1 over a is equal to square root 2 over 2 to the power of a. So here, the power is a. So to get, get rid of the power, and we can, on the right side, we can take the power of 1 over a for both sides. We have 1 over a to the power of 1 over a is equal to square root 2 over 2 to the power of a, and then to the power of 1 over a. So you see here, a, 1 over a. Then we can apply the rule a to the power of m, and then to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n a is equal to a to the power of n, then to the power of m. So right here, a times 1 over a, then we have 1 over a to the power of 1 over a is equal to square root 2 over 2. Then think about how to rewrite this value, square root 2 over 2. So square root 2 over 2 is equal to square root 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2. Also, here is the tricky part. 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 2, then to the power of 1 over 2. So any idea about the power here? Yes, it is equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 4. So this equation can go to... So we, we, now, we, now we have square root 2 over 2, it's equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2, and it's equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 4, and this equation can go to 1 over a to the power of 1 over a. 1 over a is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2, and it's equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 4. So we have this equation, and, and now we have two cases. The first case, 1 over a is equal to 1 over 2. So in this case, a is equal to 2. The second case, 1 over a is equal to 1 over 4. We have a is equal to 4. So we have two positive rules of this equation. So now the question is, how many, rule, how many real roots does x to the power of x is equal to c has when x is positive? So we, we have already get, got 2 and 4 is the two positive solutions of the original equation. Is there any other roots of the original equation? So then we will move the question to this equation. So x to the power of x is equal to this. How many roots when x is positive? So to answer this question, we will set a function y is equal to x to the power of x. And then, you know, x is positive, so x to the power of x is positive. So we can safely take a natural log for both sides. We have ln y is equal to ln x to the power of x. So here, we can apply the rule ln a to the power of b is equal to b times ln a. So then, it can go to x times ln x. Then we differentiate both sides of the equation. So we have y prime, the derivative of y over y is equal to. So this side, differentiate this side, we have ln x plus 1. Then we have y prime, the derivative of y is equal to y times ln x plus 1. So we know 
y is equal to x to the power of x. So y prime can be written as x to the power of x times ln x plus 1. Then we let y prime is equal to 0. So the derivative of y is equal to 0. Then we get this equation, x to the power of x times ln x plus 1 is equal to 0. So as we said before, x is positive. So x to the power of x is positive. The only solution for this equation is ln x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then we have x is equal to 1 over e. So we know that x is equal to 1 over e, y prime is equal to 0. So when x is greater than 0, so x is positive, and is less than 1 over e, so you see here, this term will be negative. Ln x plus 1 will be negative when x is in this range, and x to the power of x is positive, so y prime is negative in this range. Y decrease in this range. So when x is greater than 1 over e, greater than 1 over e, so this term, ln x plus 1, is positive. x to the power of x is positive, so y prime is positive. y increase in this range. When x is equal to 1 over e, y prime is equal to 0, and y is equal to 1 over e to the power of 1 over, e, 1 over e. So this is a local minimum. So we, we, we got an idea about what the uh, graph of y looks like. So we, we, we just directly bring up the, the graph of the function y. So it's something like this. It's decrease in this range. And here is the local minimum as x is equal to 1 over e and the increase in this range. So this is the overall graph of y. So the question is, what are the two upper limits on both sides? So, you know, when you determine if there is section between intersection between the graph of y and the level c. So if, if there are intersections, there are roots. So, so let's e evaluate the upper limit on both sides. So when x, so this side, when x is approaching 0, it's approaching 0. So what is the limit for y? So y is equal to x to the power of x. Then x to the power of x is equal to e to the power of x times ln x. So when x is approaching 0, what is this? So x is equal to 0, we have the limit of e to the power of x, ln x is equal to e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So when x is approaching 0, the limit of y is 1. So this side, the upper limit on this side is 1. So on the other side, when x is approaching positive infinity, what is the limit of y? So y is equal to x to the power of x. When x is approaching positive infinity, x to the power of x is positive infinity. So this side is positive infinity. So with this idea, we can make conclusions. When c, c, the value right here, when c is greater than 1 over e to the power of 1 over e, so this is the Local minimum, right here, local minimum of the function is greater than this local minimum and is less than 1. x to the power of x is equal to c. So this equation has two real roots. When x is greater than 1, x to the power of x is equal to c has one real root. So you say the level, when say the level is right here, there are two roads. When the level is greater than one, there, there's only one intersection, there is only one root. So when the level is less than one over e to the power of 
1 over e. So it's less than the local minimum x to the power of x is equal to c has no root. So there will be no intersection when c is lower than the local minimum. Then in our case, x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2. So c is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2. And it's equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 4. And it's greater than 1 over e to the power of 1 over e. So it's greater than the local minimum, uh, but it is less than 1. So it's something right here. It, the level is the level is right here, the, the blue line. So this level, y is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2, and it's equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 4. And the corresponding x is 1 over 4, 1 over 2. So there are two intersections with the graph of y, and there are two roots in this range. So when c is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2, there are two roots. That is, as x is equal to 1 over 2 and x is equal to 1 over 4. So remember, x is equal to 1 over a, so we have a is equal to 2 or 4. So there are, these are the only two positive roots of the original equation. So with that, I will close this video. Thanks for watching. I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.